link to the paint.net website and click that. Then you're going to click the .pdn and it will bring you to another page and just click paint.net and then you're going to find a place where you're going to save your paint.net and you're going to press save. Once it's fully loaded, click the arrow and press show in folder. Then you're going to see that there's a file with a zipper and you're going to right click and press extract all and then click next and then it will extract the file for you um, and now the extracted folder will open up but just close it then you will have to just delete the zip file because we don't need it and then press on the file that we just extracted and double click on the download and wait for it to load then you're just gonna leave it as it is and you're gonna just press next then you're going to press I agree and press next again. Then just wait for it to complete the load and press finish. Now you have paint on it. Okay, so now you're going to search paint on it plugins. And you're going to click on this link. I will leave it in the description. Next, you will click plugin packs. And as you can see, there's a bunch of plugins that you can download and look, look for, um, such as Spiral Child. He's a very popular creator. Um, he created the Outline Object plugin, which everybody uses. Um, so yeah, this is where you can get all your plugins. Um, each plugin will have a description of what the plugin is and what it does and how to download it so I recommend looking through the plugin well just so that you know what you're downloading okay so now once you've selected the plugin that you want to download um, you're gonna follow the instructions that it tells you so here it told me to click on the link if I'm using an older version of paint on it then you're gonna press the link and you're going to go to paint on it and check the version that you have of paint on it so I do have the 4.2.1 version so I'm gonna exit it and I'm gonna just have a quick look as to how the plugin will look like once I've downloaded and open it um, and you know I'm just looking at the what the plugin pack has um, and once I'm done looking through, I'm just going to click download. So click download and you're going to pop up, pop up with this window and you're just going to find a place where you want to save all your plugins. I recommend making a folder with, with all the plugins that you've downloaded. Then you're going to press save and at the bottom corner, you're going to see that it's loading. Wait for it to fully load and you're going to click on the arrow and click open file. And it's going to be in a zip file, so you're going to extract it and hit next. Once that's extracted, you're just going to close that window and you're going to delete the zip file. And you're going to open the file that's been extracted. Okay, so now I'm looking at the website because it does tell me that um, once I click, I'm going to have this window. So um, I'm going to double click on the plugin that we just downloaded and as you can see we do have that list like it showed in the website so that's good we're doing the right steps. So once we've double clicked um, you can see that there's a big list of all the plugins that this pack has. So you can go back to the website and check all the plugins that you think you might need. Um, so just read through what that plugin does. Um, if you want, you can download the whole pack so you don't have to uncheck anything. So for instance, like what I'm doing here is I'm unchecking the plugins that I won't be using and I'm just going to leave the plugins that I will be using and that I do want from this pack checked. So. Go ahead and uncheck the stuff that you don't know what it is or you don't think that you're going to be using it and just keep the ones that you think you might need or what you want to so leave them checked. Um, so yeah, so take your time. Don't go too fast. And also keep in mind that each plugin pack 
has its own different way on downloading its plugins. So I do recommend looking through the website of that plugin and you know reading through how to actually download it and what to do because it is important. Okay, so once you've done um, selecting all the plugins that you want to download and keep, um, you're just going to close your paint.net page if it's opened and you're going to click install. Then you're going to wait for it to download. Um, it, will, it will not take that long depending on how much plugins you wanted to download. So just wait for it. And then you're going to click OK. And exit out of that page. Alright, and here I'm just going to my PC and going to my drive. And I'm going to program files and clicking on paint.net. And I'm going to go to effects. And as you can see, I have all the plugins and I'm pointing right here all the plugins that I did want to download. So I'm just double checking that I did download so it is there. Um, so that's a good thing. You should also have them there too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download another plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the paint.net plugins page. And I'm just going to find another plugin that I do might need and you know download some fun, fun plugins that you think might be interesting to use or very helpful depending on what you're making. And I also do recommend only getting plugins from this website because that's the only place where you should get plugins. It is safe. Um, I don't recommend getting plugins from other websites. Could be viruses. So, I'm just browsing through, checking if there's any interesting plugin that I want to use. Um, and you should do the same, you know, look through. And as you can see, I found one that I think I might need, um, which is the circled text, which looks really fun. Um, so, I'm just like, you know, reading through what it is and how to use it. Um, and yeah, and I'm just going to click download and follow what it tells me to go to so I'm just going to press download and I'm gonna pop up with my window again and I'm just going to click save and wait for it to download and this is a pack but it is a little different than the other pack that we downloaded so I'm just going to open folder to the file and I'm going to extract it the same steps we did before click next and exit on that page that popped up right so then I'm gonna delete the zip file open the file that we extracted as you can see we have all the plugins from this pack and as you can see they look very different these are the actual DLL plugins so the DLL files which is the plugins and right now I'm looking at the names of the plugins that I want to download so I'm just going to select um, what plugins I want to download so I'm checking for the name on what exactly I'm going to, I'm about to download so spiral text um, you know looking through what I think I might want um, so you should do the same if you're using this plugin pack and some plugin packs have really good ones um, so yeah to look through Okay, so here I'm selecting all the plugins that I only want to download by pressing control and clicking to select multiple um, plugins. Okay, so once you are done selecting the plugins you want, you are just going to press the right click and press copy. Then you're going to go to your this PC and you're gonna go to your drive and press program files then click on paint on it folder and click on effects and once you're there you're going to right click again and you're going to press paste then it's going to ask for approval and just press continue and as you can see all the plugins that you selected paste it onto that specific folder which is great that means that we now have those plugins in paint on it so just exit that page and you can go ahead and open paint on it to check if they're there so go to effects and you can check and as you can see the plugins that you downloaded are there if you remember some of the names 
which is good now you have the plugins i have stuff to play and have fun around with um so we have the object outline object tool which is great um so yeah that is how you download plugins also what i wanted to mention before i end this video is that every time you download a plugin if it's a specific like i showed you like the dll file you will always have to do the copy and paste method so just to tell you that but some are different when it comes to downloading plugins so be sure to always look at the page of that plugin and you know just read out what the creator said on how to download it so yeah that is pretty much it it is not that hard to download plugins it is pretty straightforward and easy um so yeah i hope this video was helpful i know some of you did really want this want me to make this video for the longest time it's been a while since i've done a tutorial so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and learned something if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and i'll try my best to help you here i'm just showing you how to um change the color of the paint on it um I've been getting questions before on that old video. Um, you basically have to go to your taskbar task settings and just change the color and you'll, your paint on it will pick it up because it's the window color that you pick for your computer. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Um, bye. <laughs>